represents what you would consider to be a temporary inversing of the polarities. So, as you know, during the day, the sun rules. But during the solar eclipse, it's as if temporarily during the day, the moon takes the position of the sun and acquires the powers of the sun. Yet, as you know, only one side of the moon faces Earth. It is almost as if it is a fixed image that rotates around you. Which means the side that you don't see will be absorbing high amounts of solar power. It represents the deepest parts of your subconscious and psyche receiving energy as a people. Those who can see the eclipse, they will be affected the most. But keep in mind, it is like a drop of water. In the area where the eclipse is visible, this is where the drop of water has returned to the pool of water. And from that pool, there is a ripple. So it is an effect that is carried out. This is why eclipses are significant. This is why we talk about them. You don't even have to necessarily be under them to be affected by them. You can be proximal to them and be affected by them. Because remember, it's a doorway, it's a window that opens. The energies that enter in through that window, they will be mostly attached and connected to the area where that eclipse was visible from the Earth perspective. But they are beings of energy, so they are not physically limited. They will use the ley line networks and distribute themselves around your world. Solar eclipses and lunar eclipses will bring about different forms of beings because different types of portals are opened. This solar eclipse, its spirit is more yang in nature. It represents the yin within the yang. If you were to think of the Tai Chi symbol, think of the symbol, the half of the circle, that is yang and a dot of yin is in it. Solar eclipses like this. So these are beings that will be connected to the second moon, technically a third moon. We are referring to the celestial object of Arjuna. It will be amplifying this. The Libran qualities of balance will expand across the world. Libra is greatly connected to the Egyptian entity known as Ma'at. And as you know, there are the laws of Ma'at. These are rules that were channeled, created, that were designed to create a certain level of social harmony and energetic harmony within the land of Kem. Keep in mind that these laws that were created are inspired by greater spiritual laws that are in many ways a part of the human soul. These are the things that you know to be true. These are the things that mirror what you would call the Buddhist Dharma teachings of compassion. These types of spiritual laws, they're a part of you. They help you keep your heart on. When you remember them, a part of you is able to navigate with greater grace, flow, and harmony in your life and in your relationships. So this solar eclipse will be bringing forth a type of harmonizing and corrective effect. Harmonizing is not always gentle. Sometimes it is taking something that is out of place and you push it back into place. It's the scales. So... The scales are one of the, you could say, less living of the zodiacal symbols. They are the only symbol that is an object. So the type of changes that the solar eclipse brings, these will be changes in the realm of the material. In terms of material changes, 
This may have to do with finances for some people. This may have to do with health for other people. This may have to do with their living situations. They may actually change where they're living. This may have to do as well with things that are a little more abstract. Because as you know, the scales are used to measure things, usually things that you associate value with. And as you know, the associated value, it really is a mental construct. You're creating the value of things. All things technically have a type of infinite value because all things are unique expressions. But you create arbitrary value based off what you prioritize. So the scales can also be used to represent abstract things. So the scales will also act as indicators that the eclipse will bring about changes in people's relationships. So these are going to be the major areas of change. It will affect a lot of social things, social areas of life, social areas of the culture, individually and collectively, will be activated. So there's more we can say about it. But the final thing we'll say is the eclipse power is an alchemical moment where something new can enter in and something old can leave. They are always windows of great change. That is the primary way to interpret them. The qualities of the changes will be observed through the astrological correspondences and your intuition. The types of changes you'll experience will be based upon either taking action that is conscious or not. Because if you do not take conscious action and just go through these eclipse portals, whatever energy you're bringing, this is what it will mirror. So if it is the usual day-to-day -day energies, it will affect that area of your life. But if you are bringing spiritual energies, if you're using these moments as moments of spiritual communion, you and the eclipse will entangle on the highest of levels. And that vesica Pisces, that is the eclipse, will act as a door, bringing forth whatever you have asked for.